What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian, back on the Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends, episode 11. Alright, so, as you guys know, uh, we got a bit stuck for close to a week. Basically because, one superior void potion from stage 10 or higher in the void kit. Now, a lot of things could have done different, I could have opened that kit uh, and kept going. But in reality, it's very hard to get gems at this point of the game. So I decide to fold on to them. Right, so right now it's Sunday. Void Keep only opens on Sunday. So let's see how far we can get. If you guys are following. You know, we're pretty much like breezing through. It's as of right now, we are on day 21. What really is more like day 20. But day 21, so not even a month, and we're breezing through the Arbiter mission. So, alright, let's go to the Potion Keep, and let's see how fast we can get that potion. So in one of my accounts uh, that I'm trying to do a speedrun, I actually, um, I ran this thing, and it wasn't easy. Yeah, it took a while. It took almost all my energy to be able to actually get that potion, but sometimes you're lucky and you get the first try. Also guys, I'm sorry this video is coming probably in the end of the day, and basically the reason for that is I am shooting a documentary uh, today, so I need to get that done before I can edit the video, but again, thank you guys always for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any interest to you know uh, some of the other work I do. Uh, more related to film. Alright, let me know in the comments. Alright, so the highest we can actually get, probably safely, it's stage 13. Now, just so you guys know, the reason why I rather use 12 energy instead of 10 is the higher you go, the more chances you have to actually get in that potion, higher level potion. So, I would like to keep on 10, but since I can't, 12 in the most because it's a couple up to when it changed. If that was like the right next one, uh, I believe level 12, I probably would keep on 10 and hoping to get that. But since I'm a little bit above, I'll keep running stage 13 and hope I get that faster. So use less energy in the long run. Alright guys, so, ran out of energy. Now, I could get more energy with uh, some of my gems. I will choose to actually hold on to that. So, let's take a look where we can get in, right? Let's take a look in what is coming up afterwards. Now, be reminded, if you guys do not complete um, this part of the mission, you will have to wait at least a week if you don't want to use uh, your gems to open the, the key, right? So it would be much cheaper just use gems to refill energy until then. So in here, for example, I will have another pot coming, so I should be able to, no problem, to run and get the potion I need. In the most level 13. If you're struggling on level 13, just drop levels. It's better for you to actually have a hundred percent in your runs then pretty much just win half the time in the end of the day you're gonna have more chance to get the pot just by a hundred percent runs so if you look at the dungeons i still have eight hours and 15 minutes to run so it's enough to get some potion refills etc no problem in here. all right now let's look forward Win one Spear Void Potion, we're going to be working on that today. Next, earn three stars on Stage 7 of Felvin's Gate on Brutal. Now you start having a couple of uh, harder missions, the most if you are free to play and you're moving too fast, just like I am. And this will be clear Stage 7 or higher of the Spider Den 10 times. Not a problem, right? Clear Stage 7 of Palace of Aravia on Brutal. Upgrade two champions to level 60. You guys should already have that, no problem, if you've been working on the last week. 
deal 5 million damage to the Demon Lord on a single difficulty minimum. Now, this you do not have to do one key, right? You can use multiple keys. The only thing to pay attention is uh, in the morning when the, uh, the clan boss, he resets, you will lose those points. So, if you can do them brutal, great, good for you. Uh, get the 5 million there, use your keys in there. Don't have to be in one key, you get 20, uh, 2.5 uh, million and 2.5 uh, million, you should be fine. Okay, uh, just pay attention to that. Then I send the champion to level 6 of Asc Ascension. That's what I always say uh, in the most arbiter missions hold on. Like, I have, uh, I believe, Kyle. He's still 5 star. I could have uh, ascended him a while ago, as you guys can see, but I waited for that mission in particular. Alright. So then next, win 5 star, 6 star amulets from stage 7 or higher of the Spider Den. Now, this is probably one of the hardest ones because it has to be an amulet and it has to be 5 6 star. Now, if you guys know, you have 3 types of this artifacts and amulets one of them now until you get to level 20 it's not for sure that's gonna be five star six star so it will take a lot of energy that's why you have to really save as much as you can and it's not the case for me to be using my gems to get the spear void potion because it will drop until the end of the day then after that we have win 100 silver and gold. Sorry, one of my lights just went off, but that's usually one of the issues you guys are gonna have. It's uh, 100 silver. It takes a lot of battles. Right now I'm getting three, I believe, medals per because I'm on silver four, and that's gonna take me about 32 battles. So. Next one, equip three champions with level 16 artifacts. That's why you guys always save your silver. Because when you get to that, you may be really lucky. You only spend 400k to go from 12 to 16. Or at times you use 2.4 million. Right? After that, another issue. It's win 15, 5 or 6 star artifacts from stage 13 or higher of the Ice Golem. You need to be really cognizant of what are the artifacts you're actually leveling for your champions for that reason you need to start building your teams then after that earn three stars stage seven of palace of arabia unlock two tire four uh masters for two champions i did that with my gems so i didn't have issues on those missions and so your two main champions, really good for you to do that with the gems you have. So don't use an energy in the most beginning of the game, you don't have to. Um, pretty much self-explanatory. Win 5 superior arcane potions from stage 13 of, or higher of the arcane keep. It's not a problem because it's always open. Clear stage 7 of Tilshire on Brutal. Then it's where... You're gonna be a little stuck or not get three rank six champions so in this case uh yes i've been working on the last few days since i had to wait for the boy to keep to open i have been working on getting chickens still at this point of your account if you're started with me you're gonna realize it's very hard to get those champions to even food champions right uh, it, it just takes longer, energy is never there, so maybe an issue. So you may end up having to get stuck in there, right? Now, if not, maybe you're lucky or maybe you decide to spend some money, but it's fine. While I'm doing free to play is because a lot of people don't have the money to spend, but it doesn't mean you can't spend if you want to. Anywho, so when 15, five or six star artifacts, Jesus, stage 13 or higher of Dragon's Lair normal. Not not too bad because, first of all, you guys can run 
this thing getting double artifacts, right? And Dragon is a really good place to get your artifacts, and most at this point of the game. The next, earn 3 star seed 7 of 2 Shire on Brutal difficulty. Win 5 superior magic potions. So, this is back to where you may have to wait. So, as you guys can see, this opens on Wednesday. This being said, it gives you about 3 days to be able to clear everything and get to that point. Get another champion to level 60 or 6 star and clear everything you can. So, 3 days, not bad amount of time. It shouldn't get you stuck. If you don't get to this point by Saturday, you should be able to run it again and wait one day to run. I believe the following one would be Spirit Kid. So, yeah, not too bad, not too hard. I'll do one last run while I finish talking to you guys, see if I can get this. But yeah, so you should be moving along, um, work pretty much this week while that time as well. Work on the arena. And because Harina may will get you stuck later in this progression. Basically, because you will have at the end, before you get to Arbiter, to be able to open all the way to level 10. So yeah, that usually is what's gonna take you the most amount of time. It may get me stuck as well, and after that everything is a breeze. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a good end of your day, and as always, I'll see you in the game.